say? What will he say? I mean, that is the question. FBI Director Jim Comey is going to be in front of Congress this morning. He's going to be asked about wiretapping. He's going to be asked about surveillance. He's going to be asked about the existence of an investigation into Russian connections with the Trump staff. Is he going to give answers? Bottom line, Washington Post White House Bureau Chief Philip Rucker. Now, before we get to the substance, let's deal with the style. Let's replay that moment. You remember yeah. when Comey and Trump had their kind of introduction moment there when he won? And it kind of was the handshake and the kiss. And he was like, come over here, Jim. You're the real star. <laughs> and what was that, Philip? Was that just a whisper in the ear? Or was that a little, just a little, you know, we're all good now? <laughs> What'd you, what was your read on that? I think he was just trying to be friendly, but look, Comey's this guy through the campaign. The relationship was up and down with Trump. Uh, he hated Comey when he when he wouldn't uh, indict Hillary Clinton, and then at the end, he loved Comey because of that letter. And I think whatever Trump thinks of Comey is dependent entirely on what uh, what Comey thinks of Trump at that yeah, moment well, and whether he's ha creating any problems for Trump. He may really hate Comey come lunchtime today, <laughs> depending on how right. Comey answers that question. But here's the predicament. Yeah. Can he fire Comey? Can? Yes, he can. Will he? Should he? How would it look? Uh, Comey serves at the pleasure of the president, right? He's only a little bit into his 10 year yeah. uh, you know, span of service. But how would that look? Wouldn't that just look like the president? was trying to cover something up if he, did, if he fires Comey. I think that's right. It would be a pretty extraordinary move for him to do that. Uh, technically, he can, but I, I think it's very unlikely that he would. It would, it would certainly create all sorts of questions about, uh, about this Russia connection and the investigation. So I, I think it's an unlikely move for the White House to make. Um, yeah. I mean, I think that it would be, yeah. a, even in this administration, even with the forgiveness for Trump and what he does, that would be a huge problem because it would only never see guilty, shocking things from this. Right, but that would, but Phil, that would be a big deal. It would be hard to pivot it any way except in the worst way for the administration. So, That's right. two other things. One, on the wiretapping, do you believe Democrats and some Republicans who want this cleared up and to go away, do you think they'll get satisfaction? Because, yes, he said wiretapping, yes, he said President Obama, and to broaden it beyond that at all, uh, I, I get why people would criticize that. But, it has gone beyond that. And what if he doesn't say no kind of surveillance of anybody uh, by any agency? I know it. And then Rogers comes on and echoes that. Short of that, will wiretapping live after today regardless? You know, I think it's always going to live uh, because Donald Trump is continuing to make this point and defend it, uh, as is his press secretary, Sean Spicer. And I don't think uh, the media and the public at large, frankly, are going to are going to give up on this. I think, you know, for the president to make that sort of charge about his his predecessor mm -hmm. is remarkable. And, and the, it, it's incumbent on, upon him now to show some evidence. And I think regardless of what Comey says uh, this week, the, the, the issue is going to still linger there. You guys had some great reporting over the weekend with my Sunday night reading uh, on <laughs> on what's going on inside the White House. I mean, the president yeah. hates these stories, you know, these sort of palace intrigue stories. But, uh, you know, two months in, day 60 of the Trump presidency, who really do you get the sense has the president's ear? Well, the president might hate the stories, but his staff are eager to talk about them. We talked to about 18 <laughs> different uh, White House officials and other friends of the president and, and really came to conclude there's a new dynamic in the White House. It's not Reince Priebus versus Steve Bannon, which is what we thought it would be at the beginning and what it seemed to be at the beginning, mm -hmm. but rather they formed an alliance to take on uh, what we're calling the New York moderates, uh, Gary Cohn, Dina Powell, mm -hmm. and others who have ties to Goldman Sachs who are trying to moderate uh, the president in image, in, in tone, in policy, and, and really push a more centrist, business-friendly agenda. And they've been clashing with the Republicans, the co sort of conservative yeah. nationalists and Steve Bannon and Priebus. Let me ask you something. What do you yeah. think gets more satisfaction today? The idea of whether or not there was surveillance of Trump by the Obama administration or whether or not there is an actual inquiry into connections, knowledge yeah. of tra Trump staff and what the Russians were doing during the election? Well, I imagine we're going to hear a lot more specifically about the charge uh, that President Trump made on the wiretapping. That seems like a pretty easy no based on everything we've been hearing and CNN's been hearing and, and all sorts of other news outlets about uh, what the FBI has concluded, which is that there is no evidence of that wiretapping. Uh, but the bigger question, of course, is the Russia investigation. Yeah. I think the public wants to know answers to that. And I think the members of uh, on the Hill are going to be pushing Comey to answer. Mm -hmm. this 
The stakes are high. The president Very just high. tweeting right now. <laughs> just heard fake news. CNN is doing polls again, despite the fact that their election polls were a way off disaster. Much higher ratings at Fox. He just tweeted that. You know, got they're, they're not our polls; they're Gallup polls. It's very different right. to That's poll. That's a Gallup poll. It's very and different. It's pretty bad. It's very different <laughs> to poll people's opinion of a sitting president than poll people about how they may go vote. It's completely different. And yeah. by the right. way, the plus-minus on our poll of polls on the the national vote was on. Yeah. You know, it was what happened in specific states. But yeah. again, the president really concerned today, Philip. He's on Twitter. He's trying to shape the narrative. Let's see what happens. Well, I hope he's watching us. So. Philip. Oh, he's watching. Philip, thank you very much. Great <laughs> reporting you. by you and your team. All right, just.